Hello everyone, it's Denry from Craft of Giving and in today's video I'd love to share how I made this green tree frog card using a quilling technique. So to start with you'll need to grab yourself a blank card set and then your quilling tools, your quilling paper, some parchment paper and a pencil and some glue and some other things along the way. So to start with I grabbed a piece of parchment paper that I traced a frog onto, so a green tree frog that looks like he's sort of sitting on a leaf or a wall perhaps. And then I used my traced parchment paper as my guide to trace really hard onto the blank card as you can see here and then go over the indents that I just created by tracing really hard and filling in the lines basically to transfer that image onto my blank card. Then I grabbed my quilling tool, so for those who are not familiar with quilling, this is a quilling tool that has like this tiny little prong that you insert your little sheets of paper in that you allow, or that allows you to sort of twirl your paper into a really tight coil that you can then create different shapes with. So for this I'm going to make my two little eyes using this orange colour and making the coils really really tight so that it creates little eyeballs. Now you can create your quilling um, shapes any way you like. This is not a specific tutorial on how to do this, just a technique to share with you basically. And then once you've finished your coil, you just add a little bit of glue to the end just to secure it down so that it doesn't un unravel and lose the shape. So I went ahead and created a lot of little um, yellow coils for his little toes for the frog and then I went ahead and glued all those down so I'm basically just going to fill my shape of my frog with different sizes and shapes of paper that I've sort of twisted twisted into little coils and made some a bit looser and some a bit um, tighter and just filled up the whole shape of my little frog with the green coils of pieces of paper. So I won't be able to tell you exactly how many sheets of paper you'll need or which shapes you'll need. You'll just need to take the liberty and be creative with how you want your frog to look. But basically just fill up your froggy with all kinds of shapes and just fill up any gaps. Then once I finished my frog I went ahead and created an outline of the frog by just lining the whole image with one continuous sheet of little quilling paper. I actually recorded this video over two days and I found this awesome liquid glue in the same brand as the stick glue and I found it worked a lot easier than trying to scrape a little bit of glue onto the tiny little surface areas. So that's a tip for you, use liquid glue rather than a glue stick. And then I went ahead and drew a rough leaf shape around my little frog and then divided that into little sections of the leaf as you would have those little divisions on a um, leaf if you know what I mean. And then went ahead and filled the whole leaf with my colourful paper. So with each segment of the leaf I did like two colours. So the first segment as you can see was the blue and pink and then the orange and yellow and then just followed that pattern all the way around my leaf so I create a really colorful leaf but you can create your leaf any way you look like you can stop at the frog this is up to you and how you would like your card to look but this is just how I did it and then to create even more definition in my leaf I went ahead and outlined it as well with a lighter green so that you can tell it's a leaf rather than all the colorful shades of color and I only did half of the leaf first so I could outline that division of the middle of the leaf up underneath where the frog's leg is. So you can sort of tell where the leaf sort of ends. I went ahead and finished the other side of the leaf without filming it otherwise you'll be here for a whole hour watching me do this. And then I outlined that half of the leaf as well. I finished off by adding a little stem on the bottom. And there you have it, a really cool, beautiful quilled card with a little froggy in the middle that's really colourful and eye-catching. You can go ahead and add a little sentiment on the front. You can do whatever you like with your card to customise it to what you want it to be. If you like this video, please give it a big old thumbs up. Let me know what your thoughts are on this video and I'd love to hear from you. If you want to subscribe to my channel, I upload every Monday and Thursday and I love to make videos on handmade gifts and other fun DIY projects. You can also check out my previous videos by clicking on the links down below or on the annotations on your screen if you're on a computer. And thank you so much for watching and remember to be crafty with your giving and I'll catch you next time. Bye!